the video. It's been a little while since I've done like a sit down chit chat. I have really been loving Instagram stories. So if you are on Instagram and you're not following me, check out Madeira Green Moments. I am sharing a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. But I asked on Instagram as well as Facebook, what are your assumptions of me? And some of these are hilarious. Some of them are on point and I'm gonna jump right in. So if you have any assumptions of me and you want to put them in the comment section below before I, you watch this video, um, you can find out if you're right. So let's start off with the first one. You are Canadian. Yes, I am Canadian, but I'm also American. I have dual citizenship because my mom is American. I was born in Canada, my dad's from Canada, and now I live in Florida. So you love your husband so much. Yes, he is my best friend. I adore him and I kind of consider him like a gift from God because it was so random how we met. And if you want that story, I'll have to save that for another video. It's kind of a funny story. Okay, you are very religious. And I also got one that's kind of similar to that. And it said you are a strong Christ follower who enjoys working with kids. So yes, I, um, yes and no. I don't consider myself religious. And those of you that, um, it may be confusing to some, but I don't, I don't consider myself religious, but I do have a relationship with God. So I do pray and I do love him and I do go to church. So, hey, you are a stay at home mom. No, I am not. Although I am a mom and I do show a lot of myself at home, I, I'm not a stay at home mom. I actually used to be a kindergarten teacher and now I'm a children's pastor and I'm a beach body coach. So I share with you guys about, um, my workouts and I'm taking women along this journey with me and so I'm sharing with women how they can change their lives too. So yeah, two, love kids, love, love, love kids, love working with kids. Somebody else said, um, you don't like form-fitting clothing. Yes and no. Like I'm wearing a workout top right now and it's kind of fitted but I like it a little bit looser and as I'm on this journey, a lot of my clues are getting a lot looser, so I haven't gone down any sizes yet, um, but I have had to start getting rid of some clothes. But yeah, I don't like things that are too revealing. Again, I work with kids, so that's I'm always mindful of that. Okay, you are very organized. I got a lot of people who said that, and so your assumption is right. I love to organize, and I don't know what makes your heart super happy, like if it's soccer or swimming. <laughs> maybe sports um, or you know a deal at a store like when I find something on sale it's like oh my goodness that you get that like rush of excitement when I get something organized and get a project done like a linen closet or my pantry or like a drawer like clothing drawer and it's like a disaster and then I get it organized it there's something in my brain that goes yes <laughs> like, it, it just makes me beyond happy I don't like the mess during and I don't keep my house super organized. I mean, underlaying it is, but I let it get a little messy. Like behind me, there was a huge um, like TV stand with movies and stuff and it had to get moved. And I'm not super like a neat freak. I guess that's the difference. I like to be organized, but I'm not a neat freak. So take a look. They emptied out the video cabinet thing for our TV and then check out the mess over here. See, I'm normal, right? <laughs> Do you guys have a corner in your house like this? Unless you're a neat freak. Now you're like going, oh my goodness, like you're a disaster, Elizabeth. So I have to go through all that. And yes, that drives me absolutely crazy, but not enough that I'm like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it right now. So I love things to have a place and to be organized. Okay, uh, I no longer drink Ningxia or use oils. So false. Okay, I love my essential oils. I use them every day. I can't imagine not using my oils. Love, love, love them. We drink Ningxia every single day. In fact, my kids do too. And knock on wood or whatever, nobody's getting sick because we're putting that amazing goodness in our body. Okay, couple people said this. No, like three or four people said, you never get mad, you never get angry. Um, you're always so positive and upbeat. I can't imagine you raising your voice to anybody. Okay, couple funny stories. Well, one funny story. But when I went through teaching college to become a teacher, they said in one of our classes, and it stuck, you never raise your voice except for emergencies. Now, if you're a teacher, you probably know why. And if you're not a teacher, you're probably like, what, what does that even mean? 
So when you're working with kids, you don't raise your voice unless it's an emergency, like you don't yell, because if you are always at that tone, kids won't know that it's an emergency. So if you're all of a sudden you go to that level, it's like, whoa, what is Miss Madero saying? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Maybe it's because I'm Canadian and we're taught to be polite all the time and like super polite, but I've always been a super positive person. And so I've gone through ups and downs for sure, more ups lately because I'm on this fitness journey, which makes me happy, but <laughs> actually really, really happy. Yeah, there's been a huge change in my mood. But then also I don't get mad often. Like I'm not a hothead at all, but I'm very sensitive and can get upset easily. Um, less as I'm getting older, I guess I'm learning to like brush it off and be like, whatever. But um, the very, very few things make me mad. And usually it's like an injustice or things that aren't fair people who are rude, like on purpose, that are just so not thoughtful. So when somebody just goes out of their way to not think of my feelings or my thoughts or um, just rude, like that kind of stuff just makes me super angry. Um, blatant disobedience for my children, like on purpose and I forgot. I'm like, no, you didn't, no, you didn't. And even then I don't get angry. I usually give like, a million chances and there's consequences I just don't let my emotions get to that angry stage so I have a lot of patience when it comes to that but there's other things that I don't have patience for yeah I could go on and on about that stuff right okay let's see if there is any more you're killing it with beach body somebody said I appreciate that I don't know what you mean if you mean like the business side or um, the workouts but all I know is that I have found an extreme passion to change my life around from the inside out. And somebody else said, um, you are devoted and driven and you're passionate about what you love and you wanna share that with others, a thousand percent. I just feel like you shouldn't be doing life alone and I don't wanna do this by myself, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. And if it is motivating and completely changing my life, why on earth would I wanna keep that to myself, right? So I am a thousand percent all about motivating, encouraging, um, and helping you, you do the same. I would never want to keep this to myself. So I am beyond passionate about raising up empowered, strong women. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to end with this one because it's hilarious and so kind, but you don't trust anyone to shape your eyebrows. You shouldn't because you got that brow game on lock. See, I can't even say that with a straight face because you just must be way too cool for me to say that. <laughs> you must be way cooler than me. So um, thank you very much. My eyebrows, I've never thought of them that way, but when I was in high school, I used to get them waxed on the regular. And I have my mom to thank for that, but I would get my eyebrows waxed regularly. I don't know how often we went, once a month, once every three weeks, I don't know. But what happened was, is they just stayed shaped. So I really don't have to do much to them. They just kind of stay like that. So I think this past couple of years, really thick brows have been in style, but I can't, I can't join in on the trend because this is where they've stayed. I guess if you wax enough, the hair doesn't grow back. I mean, I have to touch up a little bit, but. All right, you love the color aqua. Yes, if I had to pick one color in the whole world, it would be teal. Like aqua, aquamarine, mint, whatever you want to call it, favorite color ever. Okay, you don't miss the snow only at Christmas. Yes, 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 yes. I, we lived where it snowed all the time and as soon as you shoveled your walk, you had to shovel it again. So, oh, <laughs> I don't miss that. I mean, those of you that don't live in snow, you have no idea. You would get to your car after going shopping at the mall and it had snowed and then rained and so you couldn't get in your car because your ice scraper for your car is in your car and how are you supposed to get your keys in the lock because there's snow and ice over it yeah and then when you're trying to go somewhere you have to shovel the driveway because you can't get your car out of the driveway and then you have to get all the snow off your car you don't just do your windshield wipers you have to like really really get all that off there or you can't see out the window so I, it's much more efficient to live in Florida because you just turn your car and go. I don't think I've ever had to like, I've had to defrost my window maybe like twice. So, but that takes like two minutes because it doesn't get that cold here. But yes, at Christmas time, if I could visit snow every year and just let my kids play in it and have fun and vacation in it, thousand percent yes, but not, 
not to work in it. Those of you that do, man, you must be burning a lot of extra calories. That's probably what I need. All right, guys, those are the assumptions. So I think I'm going to have this video up this week because we are going to Disney World this week. I am finishing our six week workout program to Transform 20 and I'm finishing it at Disney, which is wild. I hope I can stick to it. No, let me rephrase that. I know I can stick to it. And I'm going to show, it, show you guys my results from Transform 20 from beginning to end on Monday. So make sure you come back, see that video. And thanks guys for watching and taking the time to hang out with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks.